Hi everyone and welcome to my, uh, just my weekly setup. So, um, I posted the short version of this ages ago on this channel and, uh, someone is just like, I wish you'd done voiceover because I'm not quite following what you're doing. Um, and because it's a little bit weird and wonky, uh, I was like, you know what, let me take the opportunity to actually do this with all of the voiceover, with a step-by-step, -step, all of those types of things. So basically what I start with is one of these sheets. And so um, this is just a weekly schedule, obviously, from, um, from Happy Planner. I have one every single week. And basically, it's the short version of kind of what's going on for me. So I'll check my calendar. I will, um, actually, I just remembered I have a blood test at 12. So that I'm going to add there. Um, and so, yeah, I'll just go through my calendar and grab the dates or times of stuff that might need to happen. The other thing I do is I grab one of these little guys and you'll see this in a second. I'm gonna need my man Snorlax here in a second as well. Um, and the other thing I do is I migrate my tasks. So anything that didn't get done last week um, gets moved to this week and then I can add more tasks as I go. Uh, so for example, um, I do my personal tasks from the top down and my work tasks from the bottom up. And so, um, I think I have one more personal test. Oh yeah, I have, I want to return a bag. So, KS return. Uh, I need to go to UPS. So shoe return, that's what that is. Uh, and then I'm going to put UPS because it's not like a standard, uh, postal service. There was one other thing. Oh yeah, jeans. I should just do that. I'll do that after we get, like it's such a small thing. I just need to try on a pair of jeans. I'm not even gonna put it on my list because I'll just do it once I get off the, stop filming here and start um, doing the processing that the video needs to do, quick and easy. Um, yeah, so, and then I work through it just over the week and um, I'm just kind of, it, it kind of exists in the middle of these two sheets. So it'll look like this basically. Um, but yeah, that's how I start out my weekly planning process. Now, as I said, I have Mr. Snorlax. I have this strip right here. This is the color block, uh, which if you saw my, uh, my original, like, what am I using in 2023 video, you saw that I will be using this color block planner. Uh, it's basically my overall work week planner because I like the, I use each row as f like a separate thing, which is what you can kind of see going on right here. This is a little strip. Um, it's printed on clear paper or clear sticker paper. And um, I'm going to include the Photoshop file for it. I'm going to try to make a Canva version, but I don't know how long that's going to take. <laughs> I've been so reluctant to put this online for some bizarro reason like I don't understand but my brain is like oh you can't do that it's illegal somehow <laughs> I don't know why you know brains the way that they are sometimes or maybe it's just my brain you can just be like no Carly that's just you you have a weird brain and I'd absolutely believe you <laughs> so um yeah, I'm going to put the Photoshop file up for sure because it's absolutely not illegal. I made it <laughs> more than on a legal copy of Photoshop. Um, and I will make that and put that up. And then if I get Canva, I will update the description as well with the Canva file so that you guys can just grab that and use it on your own if you're using a color block planner. So basically, I'm just going to peel this off. And what I try to do, especially because right now there's like dog hair already on it. This is what happens when you have two corgis. <laughs> They're very small dogs with a lot of hair on them. And what I try to do is 
with the early one. And I will probably speed this up because I am so persnickety about it. <laughs> I hate when they are misaligned. And we're just gonna go right there. And there we go. <laughs> See, like I said, the longest part of <laughs> planning for the week. Getting this sheet filled out is easier than putting this sticker on. I think it's worth it. Some part of me kind of wants to create smaller stickers so that I can put them on or weeks that I'm going to be doing things differently and be more helpful. But so far, this is working out for me. Um, and I just create them in a big sheet and I cut them up. Let me see if I can find my other one. It might be over here. It might not. <laughs> but basically, it's just a sheet of them that goes the long way. Um, and I just use the Avery clear sticker paper. It's not anything fancy. You can find it at Amazon, Staples, Office Depot probably. Um, and it's real easy to get. Um, and I just print it in my laser printer. Easy peasy. So now that this is all set up, what I will do is um, add things that might be relevant. So like, let's see, if I go to here, this is a meeting with my husband and I, we're just gonna discuss uh, the month's finances. So that's tentative for seven, but probably not really super important, especially like, uh, I'm filming this today, this Monday. And so he has the day off because of Martin Luther King Day. So we could do it whenever we wanted to um, because this is kind of an open work day for me. Uh, I do have the 11 o'clock meeting. Um, I'm actually meeting with somebody and this is the most boomer thing I've probably ever said. It's like, I don't use TikTok because as I've mentioned in a couple of my videos, I do have ADHD. And for me, like TikTok is... Just itches that ADHD, like lack of dopamine and serotonin and stuff. And I'm just like, I get lost in it for hours and hours and hours. And I'm talking like hours, no joke, five to six hours of just watching videos. So I've stayed away from it. <laughs> and so she's going to help me uh, start uh, learning how to do more of this stuff on TikTok. So I will eventually be on TikTok, eventually. <laughs> Um, and I'll share that here when I get that done. But Thursday, we got a 3 p.m. co-working session. Um, and then at 11, right now, that's penciled in for my friend Sarah. And at 12, I've got that blood test that I remembered. And this just kind of gives me a view. And I know it's here, but... For me, and again, like I said, I don't know if it's a Cara Lee brain thing or if it's an ADHD specific thing or whatever, the more frequently I write it, the more likely it is to cement itself into my brain, into the little folds of my brain. And so I try to write it pretty frequently over and over and over again. And it helps me kind of remember what I have going on so that it's kind of like I can feel it. Like, I know that sounds really ridiculous and like kind of weird, but it's like, oh, I know that Friday I'm going to be pretty busy. And so I can't rely on myself to do something later on Friday. I need to kind of front load it because realistically, the only thing I've got going on in the front part of the week or even like this co-working session on Thursday, you know, I have a lot of time here and not necessarily oops, <laughs> so much time on the back end. And so that's, that helps me kind of be like, hey, let's put a lot of gas into the beginning of the week and then maybe slow down uh, towards the end of the week because I do like to give myself one complete day off. It's usually Thursday um, because that's just kind of how it works out. Like I said, I do have two corgis and they go to um, daycare that day. So the house is empty. It's just me. And sometimes I just want to like snack and play video games and vibe on that day. But I have to be kind of prepared to be able to do that. So um, that leaves me this kind of so I know what how the cadence of the week, you know, what the what the rhythm of the week, if you want to put it that way, is going to be. 
So to explain kind of my personal setup, big is big pieces of content, YouTube videos, blog posts, that type of thing where it's like, okay, you have to actually put some, it's not something you can just pop off in like 15 minutes, let's say. Um, so in this case, I am filming this YouTube video. So we're going to, that's actually not on my to-do list. Um, so we're going to film YouTube today. And then we're going to see if maybe we can edit, question mark. We're going to try that. If that doesn't work, it will just get moved along the day. So tomorrow, if I didn't get around to editing this video, if something else came up, I will move it to Tuesday and put that into this box. It kind of gives me an opportunity in a couple of different ways. One, make sure that it actually gets done, <laughs> obviously. Two, um, it helps me see like what I'm putting off um, and not doing and seeing if maybe there's a way for me to uh, like pass it off to my assistant or maybe it tells me like, hey, maybe it's time to start looking for somebody who will edit your videos for you. That kind of a thing. Let's say if it's editing. Right now, my edits are pretty straightforward. I'm not doing a lot of B-roll. I'm not doing a lot of back and forth. It's kind of just top down for right now when I do this planner stuff. So I can do it pretty quickly and easily, but that might not be the case forever. It's something that kind of keeps it top of mind for me. So the next thing is the small content. I've been really bad about Instagram. I'm horrible about Instagram. I get comments done. I get all that kind of stuff done, but I don't make posts. And so I need to, and I actually have this great thing. Um, I think her. I cannot remember the name, but it's Gallus something. And she basically creates um, like social media calendars that you can just do. And so that's usually what I do for that. And so I will put that as, um, I'm just gonna give it myself a really easy task to do, which is just print the calendar. So that's what that means to me. Prep. That's usually me prepping another project, something that I might be filming later, something that I might take photos from. And so that would be off the top of my head. I'm not sure of what I could prep today, but that would be good. Um, also, I just realized, and I've been thinking about this for the last couple of weeks, I think prep and making are really similar. So I've got prep here and making here, and I think they're kind of similar. So I might want to work on those. Um, I'm going to contact my VA today uh, about Pinterest. And then making. I should probably do... Um, a page in my passport. Get that done, because I've been working on that. So yeah, now I'm prepped for the week and I'm prepped for today. So um, I just have to work through, I've got the filming YouTube because I'm doing it right now, so that's great, that's done. And then I'm just gonna work down through these tasks. And that's basically how I plan my week and how I work um, off of my color block planner. And so, yeah, tomorrow I'll sit down and do the same thing. Like what didn't happen today? What can I move over to here? Or what do I need to prep to get ready for the TikTok thing? Luckily that's already prepped and done. So I don't have to worry about that. So we're all good there, but, um, I might need to prep, uh, I have a, a printer coming, so I might need to prep the printer tomorrow just to get it ready and tested and all that kind of stuff. Um, or I need to prep, um, like one of my tasks for this week was list more items on Etsy. So I might need to prep by saying like, oh, can I measure and weigh those things? Um, and maybe that's what I'll do today. Um, measure for, let's see. Great. Great, great, great. Okay. Cool. See, this is kind of how I work through it. And I just wanted to give people like an overall view of kind of like how I plan for both my personal stuff um, and my business kind of all in one. And I'm luckily that 
<laughs> I'm luckily, I'm lucky that my business is pretty in a pretty chill space right now. And also my personal life is in a pretty chill space right now. So this is super easy for me. It's all lives in one place. Um, but that may not work for you. But if it does, I hope that this was super helpful. I hope that you can kind of take a look at this and see how I do this really, um, uh, you, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> We're going to notice that Carolee hasn't had her first cup of coffee yet, but, um, this, this version of planning, as you can see, no stickers, no nothing, just kind of like writing it down with a black pen and getting it into here and then working off of it. It's really practical. So, um, I hope you learned something. And like I said, if you are using a color block planner and you want to try these, um, go ahead and look in the description. The Photoshop file will definitely be there. The Canva file is coming. Ooh, guys, making Canva version of labels just for you. In real time so I will work on that today and so it'll be ready when I actually put this up I promise all right so like I said I hope this helps go and grab the canva and or Photoshop whichever you prefer file you'll be able to change the text and all of that and the and the fonts and all of those things if that is your uh, need uh, this just works well for me, but I know it's not going to be for everybody. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you real soon. Bye.